like CSU, Deloitte denied ever knowing or having anything, uh, having any Bola A in their employment. Article says, oh boy. So the same way Chicago City University said, though Bola, one Bola A Tinubu passed through their school and graduated, but they never issued him a certificate. Okay, and they, he never even applied for a, a replacement of a law certificate. So the same way I think we're saying that the Deloitte has denied ever knowing any Tinubu or having any Tinubu or Bola A Tinubu in their payroll. So how did the Tinubu say they work with Deloitte? That's another thing. That's another thing. So if Deloitte has denied that, it means that, <laughs> because that is why I think we're saying that the CSU saga of Tinubu is just a tip of the iceberg. Meaning that more is to come. So I wonder what will be revealed by the time the FBI, you know, releases Tinubu's dossier, the, the record. God will help us. So now we know that Nigeria is rotting by the kind of leaders that we have. Oh boy. But then let's dive into the details and see what Atiku is trying to say. The presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP, Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, through his media aid, Paul Ibe, has alleged that President Bola Tinubu or Ahmed Tinubu claimed in his 1999 affidavit fight to contest for the position of governorship of Lagos State that he had gained working experience with Arthur Anderson Accounting, Deloitte, and Mobile Oil Nigeria. He, however, remarked that Deloitte had explicitly denied any knowledge of or employment history with any individual named Bola A. Tinubu, just like the Chicago State uh, University. <laughs> baga, 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 baga. So, where Tinubu won't put head now? He's, that, that, is, that is the thing. Everything about him now has suddenly been exposed. All the lies of his life have all been exposed now. So, if PDP is coming out to say this, then this is a very bad situation for Tinubu, I have to say the truth. He said this in a press statement reported by Point newspaper. Bola A. Tinubu claimed in his 1999 affidavit to contest for the position of governor of Lagos State that he had a working experience with a to Anderson account in Deloitte and Mobile Nigeria. That mobile is actually mobile lawyer, not mobile producing, that is it. So it ends up that both claims on Arthur Anderson and Deloitte in the USA are false because his footprints are nowhere to be found in those corporations. Like CSU, Deloitte denied ever knowing or having any Bola A Tinubu in the employment. He has since stopped adding that to his official or public record since his exposure. Oh boy. How can old man lie like this from bed to, to death? Eh? I'm telling you, this man is a genius. He's a real genius of lies. Real genius of lies. And only God knows how much information Atiku has now that he's going to release further. It means that this case, from the way I see it, um, legally, okay, even legally, the appeal at the Supreme Court is not going to be the end of this matter. I see a situation where after the Supreme Court, other court cases are going to spring up. Fresh new court, court cases are going to spring up. And those cases are going to be on forgery, on lying, on perjury, on identity theft, on on fraud, on so many things are going to come up. And it's going those cases are going to be unique cases of their own that will seek its removal from office freshly. But I see a technicality that Supreme Court is going to use in this case. Just like what Justice Mary Odili did for Peter Odili when Peter Odili was taken to court for probe uh, after being the uh, governor of uh, uh, River State, they said that no court in Nigeria should entertain the issue of Peter Odili again in, in Nigeria. That is what I see that they're going to do for Tinubu. The current CJN and the appeal, uh, sorry, the Supreme Court justices are going to rule that no court in Nigeria should ever entertain Tinubu's case. And that is, and they're going to craft it technically in such a way that it will be difficult to beat. That is how we see, it's going to, people that are f intellectual fraud or fraudulently intellectual, 
that is what we are going to see in this case. Most likely, they are going to rule. Or we, we are not preempting, but that is likely what is going to happen. Having seen the enormous, the enormity of the saga, the enormity of the of the of the of the case, they are going to rule that no court in Nigeria should ever entertain Tinubu's case again. With respect to his identity, his fraud case, his everything, they are going to enlist all of them in that judgment that no court in Nigeria should entertain it again. And then they will keep it in the cooler. So the only way Nigeria can be free from this situation is probably going to be by revolution. That is it. Revolution or military coup. That is the only thing. Because judiciary has failed Nigerians 100%. There's no hope anywhere. And even in this uh, case that is coming up uh, about the appeal, handling of the appeal filed in by Atiku and Peter Obi, there, nobody is hoping that anything good will come out of it. That is it. So why am I saying all of this? Everything about Tinubu has just come to the open. Opudential. And it's so bad. It's so bad that it's, even if he's using the judiciary to quench it, it's not going to end. I tell you, this is not going to end. This is a dent on the lineage. And already it's lining up Shehi Tinubu's son for a political position in Nigeria. He's politically lining up that boy. So the question is, how will that boy be handled in Nigerian political space? I know that there are a lot of sacrifices that are already lining up for him because people, you know, poverty can make some people, some people begin to reason uh, stupidly. Somebody has oppressed you, he's gone, he's has lined up his son to continue to oppress you, and you continue. The same thing that happened in Gabon, where Omar Bongo ruled the people of Gabon and handed over to his son, Ali Bongo. If not, that the military just had to stop that trend that would have continued maybe ali bongo would have handed to his would have handed over to his son or his adopted child or whoever again and that would have been a tragedy in gabon now the same thing happening in a in a niger republic that made the niger junta to take over the government eh? when you have very corrupt politicians leading the nation and leading the nation into abyss into doom you know that the, what is happening in Nigeria today, half of it did not happen in Gabon and Niger for the military to take over. I'm sure that in Nigeria, or they just say military just saying that they cannot come back again, but I see a situation where something will happen. I tell you, only God knows what is being cooked right now. They are just waiting for Supreme Court to finish, and then everything established and closed. They will know that this is the state of Nigeria that is already Nigeria has slided into an irreparable state into an irreparable damage then probably the military will take over or the revolution another kind of revolution will come that is it it's kind of funny that we're in this mess and the mess is becoming too unbearable so that is what is happening that's what i think we're saying that just like csu deloitte at anderson of deloitte had denied ever having any bola in their payroll or in their employment that is a bad one. Hmm. And since then, that 1999 that they denied him, Tinubu has stopped adding that to his uh, to his uh, record. Just like he removed the primary and secondary school that, that he said he attended, he removed that from his record. Okay, and uh, because those primary and secondary schools were busted, never to have existed in Nigeria in any way. And right now he's talking about secondary school. He's not even talking about his primary school again right now. So how did you get into secondary school to get to uh, government college Lagos? How did you go there? You must have used primary living certificate to go there. Nobody's even talking about that one. Mm -hmm. I say government college that was formed in 1974. You said you finished 1970. What a lie. Hi, this man, eh? What a beggar.